Well, another day, another victory for the Cavaliers post-trade deadline. Uh, they're now 3-0 and uh, since the deadline, 2-0 and since they added four players and sent out six on Thursday, February 8th. On Sunday afternoon in Boston, Cavaliers punked the Celtics. And on Tuesday night in Oklahoma City, the Cavaliers handled uh, the Oklahoma City Thunder. A little more difficult, but they still got the victory. When you pass the credit around, the first guy you look to is general manager Kobe Altman, who is responsible for making the three trades that brought in the four new guys, George Hill, Jordan Clarkson, Larry Nance Jr., and Rodney Hood, and sent out six guys who it wasn't quite working with. Uh, but you also, I think, have to credit LeBron James because... When LeBron doesn't commit long-term, he puts pressure on an organization, in this case the Cavs, to make moves if things are not going particularly well. He puts pressure on a team not to be complacent. And I wonder what this would have looked like, what last week, February 8th, the trade deadline would have looked like if LeBron had been signed long-term Maybe the Cavaliers think, okay, you know, we're, we're going to ride this out with the crew, current crew we have and we'll just see how it goes into the playoffs. No, because they knew they were up against a deadline with LeBron James, which is to say the end of the season, they were forced to do something because what was in front of them was clearly not working. So often we sit here and say in Cleveland, oh, if only LeBron would commit, if only LeBron would commit. But there's another side to that. Not committing can force the Cavaliers to do what they did last week, and it has <laughs> revitalized the franchise. Um, and you think about these past two victories uh, in Boston and Oak City, both avenging uh, previous blowout losses, uh, they were accomplished without anything from Kevin Love, who was injured. So, you know, a ton of credit goes all the way around. It starts with Kobe Altman. It extends to LeBron James, filters through the roster. And, oh, by the way, T. Lou uh, for his coaching. But right now, today, it's a great day to be a Cavs fan. Great time to be a Cavs fan going into the All-Star break where the national media gets to talk about how wonderful the Cavs are as opposed to what they would have been talking about if nothing had happened at the trade deadline.